I will sing unto the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. The host and the rider throw in the sea. The Lord, my God, my strength, my tongue, has now become my victory. The Lord Last Supper, Jesus washed the feet of his disciples. Great though he was, he humbled himself and exhorted his disciples to do the same, to be at service of one another. Mm. A new commandment I give unto you, that you love one another as I have loved you. Today, the strife-torn world needs love for the lasting peace it yearns. Seeing his hungry crowd of people, Christ took five loaves and two fish and blessed them and gave them to be distributed among the people. The multitude was overjoyed at this miracle. They wanted to make him king because he had fed them. But Jesus promised them another type of meal by which they would never hunger and thirst. It was to be his body and blood. At his last supper, he took bread in his hands 
and said, Take this and eat. This is my body. Likewise, taking the cup in his hand, he said, Take this and drink. This is my blood. a good shepherd. A good shepherd lays down his life for his sheep. Surely with confidence in the Lord as a shepherd, there is nothing to fear, for he will guide and save. The thought 
of suffering and death he was to undergo made cries sweat drops of blood in the garden of Gethsemane. But not my will, but your will be done, he said, and resigned himself in the hands of the loving Father. In the midst of our deepest suffering, when all seems to be lost, we can, with childlike trust, safely commend our forlorn souls into the hands of our loving Father. Teaching, the leaders of the people plotted against Jesus and schemed a shameful death on the cross. They scourged him, they spat on him, they plotted and thrust a crown of thorns on his head. And laying a heavy wooden cross on his shoulders, mercilessly dragged him up the hill of Calvary. There, they nailed him to the cross I left him hanging, equating him with two thieves crucified along with him. Hanging there on the cross, he forgave his enemies, saying, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. The cross, which was once a sign of shame, is today exalted to be a sign of victory, victory over death, and hence, we love the old rugged cross. Well, the purest and best 